better outing, especially uh, being you know, at the Garden, such a big venue. It was really a fight for me to really shine and let the fans know what kind of fighter I am. And I uh, just feel a little bit disappointed the way I uh, performed today. Did you feel like the atmosphere and being in such a big venue that it did get to you? Did you feel nervous? Yeah, I did feel a bit nervous. Not not really of the fight, just uh, such a big venue. You know, I heard the president's here. You know, it's, it's just crazy, man. It's uh, probably the biggest event I've been in my entire life. And I just didn't perform the way I wanted to, but I'm glad I got the win. And I was still able to learn. Uh, I'll make sure next time when you see me again, I won't look like that. What do you feel he could have went to the judges' scorecards? Just because he is a hometown guy. Uh, when I heard the split, yeah, I was definitely. I was a little bit nervous. Um, even though it wasn't my best performance, I didn't think it was a split. You know, he got one takedown on me when I reversed it. So, but that's what happens when you're in the hands of the judges. What is that? Did it? Were you on the ground when it when it did go there early in the fight? Very comfortable. I felt his, uh, his back control wasn't too strong, as you can see, I reversed him quite easily. You know, I'm from Champions Creed, and Jiu-Jitsu gym, you know what I mean? It's no problem. What exactly do you feel you should have done better? Because as you said, you got one takedown, you reversed it, you still, you know, took the lead for most of the fight. I should have been a bit more aggressive. Uh, my cardio was a bit off today. I don't know if I'm coming down with something. Or like she said earlier, you know, the big venue kind of got to me. I just uh, I felt like I wasn't aggressive, and I, uh, you know, I wanted to finish tonight. I really wanted to finish tonight. And I'm just a little bit disappointed, but you know, that's a fight game. Anything can happen. You live and you learn. After the fight, you said give Canada respect. Why do you feel like Canadian mixed martial arts has been disrespected? Uh, I just feel like, you know, we're lacking a few stars right now. I'm trying to lead the wave. And I mean, I got four straight wins. We had the first fight of the night. I just feel like the North needs more respect than that. You know what I mean? We're coming up. And, uh, you know, I got four straight wins now, man. Don't put me as the first fight of the night no more. Well, now that you do have, you know, those four straight wins, you know, call a bit of a shot. You know, what do you want next? Who do you want next? Um, you know, I want top ten. Uh, you know, I'm going to talk to my manager, Timmy. We're going to, you know, see who's the be the best uh, next fighter for me to have. And I, I want to come back around February, right after Christmas. I want to make my return. I want to top ranked opponent. And I want to, you know, really show you guys what I'm really made of. Did you have a tough weight cut uh, leading into this fight? Because I know you had to use the hoop. Uh, what, was it a tougher cut than normal? No, uh, this weight like this fight camp, I came in actually lighter because of Edmonton. I had such a hard weight cut. I actually came in about three pounds lighter this this fight camp just so I didn't have a hard weight cut. So I don't think it was the weight cut. You know, I think uh, could have been the venue. Could have been I'm coming down with something. Could have been I just had an off night. Because of that, uh, you know, your performance not being happy with it. Are you looking to get back in there relatively soon, just to? Relatively soon. I want to come back right away. You know, right after Christmas, I want to make my return. I want a tough opponent, and I, I want a better showing than that, and I, I promise I'll have a better showing than that. Is there anyone that you have in mind, anyone that you think might bring out the best in you, that you can give that performance that you're after? Uh, you know, give me a give me a good striker. Give me, give me a, a real nice striker, someone I can really show off my skills to. Uh, I'm going to look on that top ten list, and we'll make an announcement by Monday. Is there anywhere you want to fight? I know after your last fight you said you wanted Brazil or another fight in Canada. Um, you know, let's let's bring it back to the north or back down to the states. You know, I, I really want to fight Canada or back down here. It don't matter to me. I know the north loves me, so I gotta <laughs> bring it back to the north and uh, you know represent my country. How are you celebrating today? I'm gonna uh, hang out with my long lost uh, half brother. He lives here in New York. We never met. He's like 20 years old. Just catch up, get to know him. I'm gonna go to church tomorrow with my grandma. She lives in South Bronx, and that's how I'm celebrating. What does that mean to you to get to meet him, and especially fighting at Madison Square Garden? Right? It's, you know, it's, it's dope, you know what I mean? We've never met, but uh, we're very similar, you know what I mean? I got to bring him out to the Madison Square Garden, you know what I mean? It's such a big event. You know, for him to see his older brother, you know, doing things like that, especially because, you know, he heard the way I grew up and what I was doing earlier, and for him to see me in this position now, it just uh, makes me quite happy. Do you think you can be an inspiration to, to other people like the brother? Definitely, you know what I mean? I, I don't think I really need to be a inspiration to him. He's like an engineer right now in school, you know what I mean? So he's a little bit smarter than me. So uh, he's doing good for himself, but you know, I'm at least a high level athlete right now and I just want to show him, you know, our family's doing good.